John Ramsbottom, the 11th of September 1814 to the 20th of May 1897, was an English mechanical engineer. Born in Todmorden, then on the county border of Yorkshire and Lancashire, Ramsbottom was the son of a steam cotton mill owner. He learned about steam engines, rebuilding his father's and also invented the weft fork this has also been attributed to James Bullo that enabled looms to be run at high speed. He also created many inventions for railways. Topic career In 1839 Ramsbottom joined Sharp, Roberts and Company of Manchester who made both industrial stationary engines and steam locomotives, and learned of the latter. He was recommended by Charles Bayer in 1842 to become locomotive superintendent of the Manchester and Birmingham Railway M &B -R. In 1846 the M&BR merged and became the London and North Western Railway LNWR, and Ramsbottom became District Superintendent North Eastern Division. In 1857 Ramsbottom became Locomotive Superintendent of the Northern Division lines north of Rugby, based at Crewe. He is credited with designing and introducing the first water troughs to be used by locomotives to pick up at speed. Topic. Locomotive designs LNWR2 Cornwall, rebuilt to his design in 1858. Topic. Innovations In 1852 he invented the split piston ring, which provided a tight seal of the piston against the cylinder with low friction. His other inventions included the Ramsbottom safety valve, the displacement lubricator, the water trough, a duplex steam hammer which negated the requirement to provide an anvil ten times the weight of the hammer, wrought iron rail chairs and improvements to the Bessemer process for steelmaking. Topic. Professional appointments Ramsbottom became a member of the Institution of Civil Engineers in 1866. He was also president of the Institution of Mechanical Engineers in 1870 and 1871. Topic retirement Ramsbottom retired in 1871, becoming in 1883 a consulting engineer and a director of the Lancashire and Yorkshire Railway LNYR. He was also a director of Bayer Peacock. <laughs> <laughs> Topic. 